Pastor Tolum Rochester. Having a fabulous time. Tolum, Tolum, Tolum. Hi guys. Welcome back to another B L O G. Can you guess where I am at? Can you guys guess? Can you guys guess? So we made it safely. We're in Mexico! So uh, hold on, wait, because our driver is outside. But um, after, I want to say seven long hours of traveling, we finally made it. Can you wave for me, please? Just give me a wave. Awesome. Can you give me a wave, please? Just a wave. Okay. Kathy, can you give me a wave, please? So why you have your camera so? We have no, just give me a wave, a smile and wave. Wait, wait, what? Wait just though. Wait just though. Just, wait just though. You cannot assault me in Mexico. Just, you cannot assault me. Can I get a smile, please? So we're trying to get some pesos. Some MX in, you know? For the country. Yeah, abuelita. Anglia chi and jot yal. So we made a little pet stop to grab some food, like a little knickknacks before we head on over because Tulum is like an hour and a half to two hours away from where we are because we landed in Cancun. So we're just grabbing a little bite and then we're heading over. And when we get to the villa, I'll just talk to you guys a little bit more. Let's go. Okay, let's do an upstairs. Let's do the upstairs tour, y'all. Why? Chrissy, come turn on the light if I'm with a gal. Come inside now, let me turn on the light and let it off. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, this is a nice little vibe. Bonita. She's a bonita. <laughs> how, do you, how do you guys see lizards? We mean how you're blind, see my lizards. Oh, this is nice. Oh, Ross. Wow, how nice to go outside here, right? It's like a patio. Oh, that was attached. Here's the other room. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it opens out into the. Is there a book? Watch it, Tom. Puss joke. Right. Oh, that one is kind of fun. Yeah, it's too dark for the tour for sure. But then I'm gonna keep it around putting them things in a room. Let me go outside. This is nice, y'all. This is the dining area, living, kitchen, a little outside situation with the patios. Nice little pool situation going on over here. Oh, this is cute, though. I can probably do this in the daytime. Damn, I'm gonna message the host and let her know that this is happening for. Okay guys, so as you can see, we finally made it to the Airbnb. So quick story, we almost got stranded in Tulum. So what happened was yesterday before we came in, the previous Airbnb host messaged me. I was like, um, so sorry that we won't be able to like host you because we found out that we had like plumbing issues. <laughs> And he took pictures of like the ceiling and like everything was like leaking and there was like mold and stuff But to me, I'm just like wait hold on So you knew we were coming you were expecting us and you did inspection on the house the day before like mm, That's suspicious and then he messaged me. I was like hey if you cancel like I'll be able to give you like a full refund and I'm like uh 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 so what I did was I messaged Airbnb directly because I was just like, if you can't host me, why you not cancel? You understand? You're not gonna mess up my account. I met the people them nobody come accept me for going no other places because I cancel at the eleventh hour. That's not gonna happen. So I called Airbnb. They dealt with it directly and um, they facilitated the refund and what have you. And I was able to find this lovely 
Airbnb at the last minute. People remember this is the day before, okay? And you're hosting a number of people and everybody if you can come and sleep comfortable, you understand? And of course, still do it at the level at which you wanted to do it because if I'm gonna be honest, the previous Airbnb was fabulous. <coughs> Chef's kiss. But this is, I would say, a close second but everything happens for a reason and the airbnb host is three of them they're very like responsive and very hands-on it was a self-check-in and the butler here even facilitates it like a lot of things so i will definitely give them that so the service alone i'm telling y'all y'all are gonna get a good review from me okay you're gonna get a very good review from me just a quick rundown so to give you guys a little bit a little bit of insight thus far because as much as i'm vlogging i want to also like educate you guys on the experience for anybody out there who wants to come so it's gonna be a little bit edutaining we came in on Arajet which goes to Mexico so we had a layover in um, the DR which was like a two hour layover it was an hour and 30 minutes to get there and then it was a three hour flight from DR to Mexico you land in Cancun and then you take like an hour and probably 45 minute drive to Tulum um the airbnb facilitated our transport um the exchange rate um so far is um one us to 16 peso um or 16 mxn we're going to be doing a number of excursions and activities of course i'm going to bring you guys along with that i got some peso at the airport because not every single place accepts us you can also walk with your card but some places you have to know that there's an additional charge um when you use it in the event that you guys want to come we're gonna settle in some more, probably go out tonight, I'll probably bring you guys along with me. And also, just a quick note, guys, I'm filming on my GoPro, so... Let me know how the quality is for you guys. It's the first time I'm vlogging on it, it's very small, it's compact, and it's much easier to use and walk around with as opposed to my vlog camera, so... I am doing this for the first time, so if you don't love the quality or if you don't love it at all, you can make me know and I'll just go back to my vlog camera. So, and the battery life on this is much longer and also the memory is also much, you know? So, I probably look very oily right now. I need to take a shower, decompress, and I'll probably see you guys a little bit later. If not, I'll probably see you guys a little bit later, okay? Okay! I'm ready. Something simple. These of the shoes. Nothing crazy. Um, we're just gonna go to Rosa Negra. Honestly, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. This bump is like the bane of my Mexico existence right now. Like, I'm, why now? What, what, why now? So yeah, we're off to Rosa Negra. The cab is about to pick us up in like 15 minutes. So let's. Go. A man in Tulum start for me. Outfits. Pure, this is just like a troll and behavior, nothing crazy. A man in my angle or no. What's your name, William? William. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, hey, William, what's up, Mexico with the party bars? The Bluetooth is on, guys. I don't remember. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Oh, Check the open for the Bluetooth, Bluetooth sister. Oh. Drink your shot, girl. Party yeah. bars. I asked him. Oh. One sister. Take your shot. Boy. I'm Mexico. Let's drink that. Yes, Lord. I don't think you guys understand. Okay, so we made it back to the villa safely. Um, it is probably after one in the morning because they closed at one Rosa Negro. Um, that was such a worthwhile experience. I don't know how to explain it. Like you see these things on Instagram and you're just like, okay, you're mad. The people that might be lying about the experience. Let me explain something to you guys. The minute I walked into Rosa Negra, the vibe just hit me and i need you guys to know and understand i'm not a partier like i'm gonna finish up with that like if i'm not i'm gonna tell you already if i'm gonna see my outside is a friend me i support i'm gonna say to myself so i'm gonna want different country run go outside people my thing is places or here's the thing right and i don't want to bash anybody in jamaica or any other country but i do believe that persons need to go to other countries to experience other restaurants other clubs just to see what people are doing and kind of thought and bring the vibe back to their own home country of course with a twist of course but that shit was 
lit. Okay, we are to dance one table, dance one chair, the sparkler, like, I'm all about an experience. Give me good food, sure, but definitely an experience. So if you're coming to Mexico, especially Tulum, people check out Rosa Negra. Me, 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend. You have to. I'm talking about this one of those experiences where you're just like having such a good time to the point where you just want to different friends and you love them. Like you're just to say, oh my God, I love you. I had a good time. I had a very good time. I had a very, very, very good time. I come lie down now because I've been traveling from I've been up from five o'clock this morning and yeah we have a very long day tomorrow so tomorrow it's all about the museum we're going to a cenote and we're also cenote or cenote and we're going to the ruins so I'm gonna catch y'all in the morning okay good night I was the middle step I was saying on my, my when I came home last night that the, the experience is one of them experiences where you're in at the party you just want to their friend them I I yeah. summer feel last night. Like, like, oh my crazy. god. And you weren't drinking. And I was not drinking. No, 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 but also, I felt like when I was there, I was like, you know, if I take a one teen shot. I would have, like yeah, because like naturally, I'm not. never given a push. No. But when you guys were sitting, I was down here reminiscing. I said, oh, like. Yeah. Yeah. It's never bad. It's never bad. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to drink to have a good time, people. Oh, but from a reach at the door, man, I'm yeah, here to. Excellent. I'm tempted to touch, tempted to touch. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm my place this man. The DJ one for Can you say something for everybody? We should yeah. have probably had. We should probably come earlier so we could have food. So we could no, enjoy. No, I tell Kelsey say, say if they give me a good sleep and a cute red bowl, I'm gonna take a to roast and then grab. I'll go back. I would too. Yeah. I probably wouldn't eat anything. I'd just go to have like a drink. Just That's spark, not yeah. Say, yeah. yeah. Just I wouldn't eat anything. Just drink. Yeah. Man. Yeah, man. It would be a lovely Yeah, night. man. A cute little ball. On the table like the I, girl. I, I just come in a bed and I literally go to sleep and a man and I do that again. Yeah. Right. Bubble ass. Bubble ass. Bubble ass. I'm gonna throw my cute little TikTok a while ago. I'm gonna find your TikTok as you see it. But we're quick, you know, I'm gonna up my stuff them really nicely. Are you guys excited for the museum? I'm excited for the get ready with me. Yeah, I was thinking that corner for the get ready with me. Hi. How are you today? Muchas gracias. Hello. You're oh, supposed to say buenas tardes. Muy bien, baby. Oh, muy bien. Also, start over. Buenas días. I am not gonna start over. It's wow, buenas tardes. Wow. It's afternoon now. And it's French. So, what is good afternoon in French? Bon nuit. Bon, bon what? Bon. Where are you going today? I'm going to Sferic, which is a museum Sferic. here mm -hmm. in Tulum. Right. I'm giving you very much Dora the Explorer vibes. South uh -huh. African princess. South African princess. You know, going to the safari vibe. Yeah. When here I am. Can you give me an OTD, out, 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 please? Thank sure. You. Yeah. I will stay um bloggy vlog, I will look in. Fashion Oha, you understand? Amazon, Nike. Let's go to the museum guys. Let's go. <laughs> So guys, I'm not supposed to have the GoPro in here, but I'm trying to get some footage and stuff. But this is a very nice little museum area place. You know, it's very Tulumi. Hold on, I'm gonna want to have the GoPro. Hold on. Okay, but to give you guys like a quick walkthrough, here we are. You have to take your shoes off before you come in. Sorry. Shoes them off, people. Shoes them off. You walk all the way through here. It's very nice, very picturesque. You know, we decided we were looking nude and so come take two look a picture. I mean, they're outside parts, but I'm not gonna lie, after walking on this for quite some time, you kinda at your foot. We kinda out of break cause, you know, I wonder if I'm gonna try to get content for now. But the camera bring professional cameras, GoPros and them something that even though it's a bit bright. Tell me say, I could have done that, but Hey, my sneaky thing look like I'm going to look so I'm not going to me. I'm doing it for the vlog. Heard that. So, we're out at... What are you saying? Mateo's. Mateo's, Mateo's, Mateo's Mexi grill. Mexican Grill. Yeah. Right. We're having some tacos. You understand? Yeah. Fahey says I'm going to do a sit down. Sure, I'll take a bite. Thank you so much. God bless you. Woo! 
Oh, that's a nice meal. That's a nice meal. So we're hanging back and having some drinks. It's a beer eye. I'm gonna taste it. Are the jalapeno these? Right. So refreshing drink. Oh, that's actually very nice with the jalapeno. I know it's jalapeno, guys. So how are you doing in Mexico? <laughs> Mexico. Oh, it's actually good. Yeah, it's very nice. She suggests all the good drinks. So why you make me um drink that one, yeah? No, 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 for me. Guess you're about to go. I am over there. What's the point? Yes, that's a jalapeno. Ooh. You didn't know there's a jalapeno on the top. But it went to my mouth. Spicy. Ay, mommy. Ay, 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 ay. Hot work. Is that controversial? I'm having such a good time. We're gonna ride bicycles after this, guys. Aren't you excited to see? It's renting on the outside for just 300 pesos. So you know we're all gonna ride back to the villa. It's gonna be about like a 10 minute journey or 13 minutes. And I'm pretty excited because I feel like we have one life to live and we need to, we need to do all the things that we can while we can. And these are like core memories that we'll look at like in 10 years and be like, oh my God, you remember when we rode bicycles in Mexico? Oh, I'm so excited. So TTYL when we get the bicycles. When I promise, when I promise in the Sabiago. You're gonna ride the bicycle. When I promise in the Sabiago, ride the bicycle. It's like you want burn freeze it all. Yeah, my sister, all the, all the, all the, show all the road, 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 road. Road number one. Ready to ride. Or before the bus come down, turn on the road. It's bicycle time. You got this pumpkin. You got this. I can't ride a bicycle. All right, go on out there. Push up, push up, push up, push up the sun. Push up the sun, baby. Mommy, I push up the sun for you. Already though. They're going to just go down there and spin. No, it will wobble it more. On the streets of Tulum, where ten thousand miles apart. Tulum, Tulum, Tulum. My Mexico Tulum. So, um, I forgot to tell you guys that we made it back. Took a little nappy nap, and now we're heading out to. A restaurant called Ilioi. Ilioi, right? I think I saw it named Ilioi. I L I O S. That sounds like it's a Greek restaurant. When them broke plates and one if some opa style. But everybody who's in Jamaica will remember opa. Yeah. So let's hope we can do a walk in because I was supposed to set a reservation, but I didn't set it. Um. William, William, not have no variation. Every room got 25, if not have no 10 minutes or 15 or 10. $10. I think because everywhere is everywhere from here to into Tulum is 50 to 20 minutes. Last night they kind of closed too. William is our driver, by the way. William, oh. yes sir. I mean, it was 150 to go and come, and then he added $13 for the. An entire drive from the airport run. What do you think it? Is if it's more? No, we paid $200 to come here. Very important part of information for those persons who want to go to. Spheric. Um, we bought the tickets on Eventbrite and they were $25 plus $3 charge from Eventbrite. That's the taxes and fees. So it was $27. Um, there's no reservation. You can just buy it and go and take your photos and all of that. Yeah, so as I said, I'm trying to be as edutaining as possible. So for anybody who wants to come to Mexico, Tulum to be Precise. Now we're going to the cars to go to places there, and then look at something there. Of course, you guys are going to need a driver, fortunately for us. Our butler here at this villa has provided us with a driver who, you know, can carry us to places and back. Um, I would, however, recommend that it's cheaper to rent a car, but the only problem you will have in renting a car is parking traffic. On the Tulum Strip, it's almost like Negril. On the Nordic Grill, Norman Ballet Boulevard in Jamaica. Yeah, one long strip of just pure excitement, clubs, restaurants, just bars. Trust me, like it just it active. Oh, they're just active. So there's nowhere really and truly to park, and there's a lot of traffic because it's so narrow and it's a lot of people. It's an influx of just a lot of people wanting to have a good time. That's why we opted for the driver, and we're also not staying in Tulum that long. So you guys can decide based on how many people how long gonna stay in XYZ but yeah parking is you'll find that a lot of the places have parking 
like 10 minutes from the venue or 15 minutes from the venue private parking i have to pay because you can't really catch up on the side of the road because there's not really any space yeah so there's that but i'll catch you guys at Illinois. let's go So we're heading off to a uh, cenote today. <laughs> um, last night we ended up going to Poro Poro Rio Poro Rio Poro Poro Rio Poro Poro Rio. I think that's the name of the place. Poro Rio. It was nice. Um, it was like the sister restaurant to Ili Ilio Ilio or Ilios. Yeah, we weren't able to do a walk in. We definitely had to reserve, but we just played that one by air. So yeah, we're off to a cenote today and the taxi is here and yeah. I'm gonna carry y'all with me. Um, for the cenote, I'm gonna give you guys the information for that for sure. So, for all the girlies and the persons who are tuning in right now and they want to be a part or want to come, what can I see there? The taxi is here! Catch you on the next second. Mexico, Mexico, man. Okay, the ticket is only valid for one admission, no re-entry, okay? No problem. Okay, the display is the bathroom, the color red bin, and over there the shower. Okay, the shower is complete before the swimming, the washroom. Okay, okay, you have to shower before you swim. Okay, awesome. Thank you. So it's a park. One more tonight, look at the iguana again. Why? Murder! <laughs> Yo, he's right there. See where someone post joke. <laughs> 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 Mark <Mark Lachier. laughs> Mr. Worthy, Mr. Worthy, Mr. Worthy, Mr. Worthy, Mr. Worthy. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. But just make a note for the people them out there so they don't flat on the grass, yeah? I just make sure they know that they just lay down flat on the grass. If not, I'm not so well, they just lay down flat on top of the dead grass. <laughs> no, no, it might kill me though. Where the shower there? Uh, over there, sir? I don't know. But this is a. That is the same thing for me. So, this is the shower. I guess you just pull lever. And are you there? Shoot. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, but you're not under it though. Yeah, I'm wow, about the body first. Um, Chelsea, give me a moment, man. Why? Why, man? Why? Why, man? Wow. Wow. Okay. Woo. All right. Wow. Love it. So we're at the Sinote, Gran Sinote. It's not that, that big. Dangerous. I think it's tree far off. Oh. And there are turtles over there, guys. Turtles. <laughs> oh, there's like sea, there's like moss on the thing. <laughs> the moss that trauma my ass, though. I love I'm oh, look. She was a fairy. Look nice. Water kind of dense though to move through. Just so orange right here. Yeah. It's kind of dense to light. Very I can't see it. The light. The water kind of dense to like thread and stuff though. Like if you can't swim, you can tell that it's like very dense. You can get one picture six. <laughs> If I can't find something out of there, man. This life jacket is not really a life jacket. Because it will bring me... No. We can't stand. I can't stand. Oh, oh, now you have to pull it up. Oh, there are fishes on you. There are fishes on you. Oh, fish is on you. Oh, wow. Like, relax. Relax. There's some relax. black fishes. You're not even realize. <laughs> 
Oh my god, it's all right. Yeah, does that, that must be something just good. Smile, just, just smile, just smile. If animals gravitate to you, up, that's something good. They're so right, tiny, Ron. Do you snorkel before? I don't know what, I still don't want to look down. Like, I don't want to think about it. That's wow, that's really so cool. cool. Guys, you can come in now. All right. The water is beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. The view under the water is also very excellent. My only thing is the water is a little bit dense. It's a little bit dense, so you have to you have to thread a little bit. Cause the jacket not carry you all the way. So you have to thread. Look at the turtles over there guys. Some little stones on there so you can stand up on, but oh this are definitely deep. <laughs> to remember if I told you guys about the cenote. So for persons who are coming into Tulum, um, Grand Cenote is 30 US dollars and you can just head there. It's a park so you can lay out your mat, you know, um, your towel, play a little card game, yeah, hang around, play little card games and stuff. Um, I don't know how long you can stay there for but we were there for I think like two hours. Like a good two hours with the DDF, yeah, like a good two hour. Um, and it's 30 US dollars to get in, that's 500 pesos. Oh yeah, you have to wash out before you go okay, in. Things, all the girls with their wigs and their laces, remember to do something that's curly, or you can't get the sure waterproof too, because I had it and my wig stayed on Maybe the whole two hours. <laughs> I'm straight here, girl, I must tell you, I did say the girls with the afro, it's gonna be a little problem for you when your hair gets wet. Mm -hmm. So just try to wear like a protective style or something braided, right. or like braids. So you have to wash out before you go into the cenote. And nobody put on a Ipa body oil and them not gonna allow you to go in. Sunscreen, they can't put on a sunscreen and lotion and them something they'll avoid apart there. But in general though, that was a very good experience. Me don't know, from a reach or something, I just want to say, oh my God, life is, every, life is beautiful, life is so amazing. Like everything about just reflective, man. Just so reflective, like I said, John, I can't believe my experience them something here. It's fabulous, man. Yeah. Would recommend to a friend, right? Had a good time. Healing about, energy. Yeah. About other persons, you know, who are afraid of swimming and stuff like that. Cassie's first time swimming was in the cenote yesterday. Right. So just come relaxed and just. Oh, and bring your water shoes. Oh, yes. Definitely water needed. Yeah, I mean, water shoes are recommended, but it's not like something that you cannot do if you're not a swimmer. And you have to wear a life jacket in the cenote. Yeah, you have to. So even if you cannot swim, it's still it's still recommended for you to swim. An important note as well, the water a little bit heavy. So if you're a professional swimmer, fine. If you can angle yourself, fine. But I tell you, the treading kind of did. Wow, man. The treading yesterday, man. I guess you didn't tread. And she was fine. But after a while, trust me, man. It was very good. Um. Um, I don't know if I did tell you, so for Taboo now, going into Taboo, you have to pay. 
um, the minimum that you're allowed to spend is 156 US dollars and that is transferred into credit however if you and that doesn't give you access to the beach yes per person and if you want to go or if you want to have access to the beach you have to book like a cabana or like a day bed which was one of them was 1700 us one of them was 1100 us dollars and that is converted into credit which you have to spend i mean you don't have to spend it if you don't want but i would recommend if you spend the money down your money the cash with the 1100 dollar one is it's only it only allows four persons right oh. yes so right. you might say, oh, but everybody's going to use the cheaper one. No, it's for only four persons and you have to pay for the extra persons if you do have more people. Right. And if you go over your credit in pesos, you're going to have to... Yeah, we have to pay for the extra. So our credit in pesos for the 150 because she gave us a deal. The summer couldn't know that. She'll give you a little deal. And we ended up getting a day bed and we had 15,000 pesos in credit, which we put towards food, um, shisha, drinks, shots, um, dessert, um, and all of that. So it's not going and spend your money and get one bill at the end of the day, is you have to pay a minimum. So if the minimum is 156 and that, that, that just allows you to dine per person. If you want to book a cabana or a day bed, I would recommend you and your friend them group up and put your money together and then you know, just say, all right, I'll wait this to the rest of the day. Because we were there for a while because we did determine so we are nyam, enjoy, soaking everything. What the people that say, them have to give us the money now, waste. So the whole of my 156 US, me nyam it, me drink it. My vibe it out. Also know that there's a 15% tip that is not included. So 15% of whatever bill that you have, they're going to take that at the end. The woman at the front gate never tell me that. And when we reach down and the man we are served with, tell we say X, Y, Z, and we say ah. But that's just, I don't know if that's something that they normally do. But just for a note, if anybody's going there, but it's nice though. I, I understand that everything here, as I said, guys, is experience driven. They might give you something for snap, something for take one picture of. Like, I I love that. And it's not just a little flowers wall where you go stand up in front of, and that's it. There's like moments, you know. So the man with the little saxophone and the girl, like, whoo, and a pure sparkler be of oh, pure sparkler. <laughs> Full of sparkler, man. Pure sparkling. Yeah, if you realize all the sparklers are cost, like customized, like it has each for each name on it. Like right. the Rosa Negra, it's a Rosa Negra. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Fabulous though. Sparkler Bill Eye. Fast Sparkler Bill Eye. Anyways, we're heading off to Cancun now. So that's going to be a separate vlog. I guess I'll close this vlog off when I get to Cancun. But overall, Tulum. 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend honestly it's like negril on steroids and i really i really feel like i really feel like this would work in like a treasure beach or like a portland for more like an off the beaten path kind of because this is very off the beaten path so this is like a whole you don't miss with the you don't mix with the residents you don't mix with the locals i mean if the locals come into tulum fine but i'm assuming majority of the people who are here are tourists or people who are visiting something like this in portland where it's just villas restaurants lounges bars and the drivers would trust me it would be a huge hospitality boost for jamaica you see same place on that nigger with the long street the strip where I was at ATI and we had Norman Manley Boulevard, right? It was on that strip. That's literally the same strip that's out there. But instead of build um, houses, mm -hmm. they put restaurants and right. yeah. attractions. We should have but I think for Negril, what it is missing is that the the people here and the restaurants here, they are very it's a lot of restaurants. Yes. And each restaurant is an experience. It's not you, you just go sit down and take one, you eat your food and you leave. Everything here is an experience. People are dancing on table, like the I don't know. Thing, the shots thing. Even the hostess is at the front, and it's just, it's just, it's just so and experience. Just match whatever right. It's Greek. They have Gr the yeah, man. I mean, Negril is nice, but Negril is not that heavy. There's not, there's no influx of people just walking the strip like that. Yeah. But you find that here, that everybody outside and something always a keep. 
Jamaica not have the how should I say the the, the it not it not survive driven is if you're in a degree just in a degree degree life you want got something for eat you got something for eat. I feel like every you can tell everybody on the strip is committed to the experience. Right. Yeah, Jamaica. As usual, we're all for ourselves. Right. So you can over so whatever period over there, say, but you can over right. here, you can over here, so do what me I do. Right. I mean, I care. Yeah. Yeah, no. And then you would look away now if you come you here and just something. a sell food. Yes. So you have to do something. So you have to do something now. Yes. So at that, in Jamaica, there's nothing tailored to each restaurant for say, yeah, man. So I also start from the basis without a customer service. Oh, all right, all right. All right. So, we're, 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 we're going to yeah. something else. We're yeah. going to something else. That's, we'll have that. Yeah, man. All right. But yeah. I will say I people... We are committed to giving the least for the most, and that is also our issue, because we are not used to certain things. Right. So they just give us the li little, but nothing. Right. I'm just going to light, I'm, I'm gonna light work. All right, we're gonna talk okay, okay, we're gonna want, we're gonna want different, we're gonna want, we're gonna want different conversation. There's yeah, some right. but right. I will say. I took the show. When I go work, I'm happy, so you give us unhappy service. Okay. Yeah, it's a different vibe here. But I will say, there, there. The salary. Yes. I want completely different. Right, so we're gonna go so far. Yeah. Okay. Let's just say that the restaurants, the, 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 the lounges okay. here and the clubs here are committed to excellence. Yes. But we can do it just looking at work. We can, but yes. we need somebody to set the tone door. A restaurant has to come and say, X, Y, at this, at this we are doing, and I, I promise you everybody else will. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, all right. Anyways, Tulum, Mexico, excellent, lovely. Twenty out of ten would recommend to a friend. You understand? We stayed at a villa, as you guys can see. There are hotels here, which of course some are breakfast included, some are all inclusive. But I would say the all inclusive one takes away from the experience of what's actually happening outside. You understand? I don't think I would have. I don't think I would have enjoyed an all inclusive here. I would have just uh, get more food, like. Yeah. Traveling, we're not. You must talk the truth. Want to come, bring the snacks, have a reliable driver, and stay somewhere you can get food. It's the truth. And bring on the tea. Yeah. I would. I appreciate this experience going out to eat and X Y Z. I don't think an all inclusive would have worked for Tulum for me. All inclusive not only need food. I would have only stayed there for the food, and I wouldn't have came off property. That's what I'm saying. Right. I would still want to come out, but it's just to have an yes. option of getting food at your convenience. That's yeah. only plus. And somebody cleaning up for us and stuff like that. So like, oh, I can't get breakfast. If I miss breakfast, I can't have lunch. Oh, me never mind. Come, never mind. Eat later. Come in and eat. Breakfast, I eat breakfast and lunch. It would work for them that too. We're worried what time of the driver will come. How am I going to get a ride? Yeah. But yeah, have a reliable driver and have your pesos. Have your pesos. Have your US. And walk with a kid, yeah, man. But yeah, 20 out of 10 recommend to a friend. 20 out of 10. 20, 20, 20. Would most definitely come back, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're leaving. We're leaving. Let me do one last final walkthrough. Our drive is outside. Had such a wonderful time. I should probably link this. Um, I should probably link this Airbnb for you guys if you want to stay here. Door is closed. Watch out, this wide open. Had a time. Had a wonderful time, guys. So sorry to leave. Just to leave on our fun. And this lock. Oh, oh, open. It's a good time to do a final walkthrough. Beautiful. So yes, guys, we're out of here. Time to lock up. And time to go. And time to head to Cancun. Come on now. A lot of people at the door. Time to lock the main door. We're off. Bye, Casa Chica. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. I'm going to kill myself.
We're at a Jamaican restaurant thing. Jamaica, them say. So all the now playing a reggae music. Them need to play some reggae music, some vibe. Then at the Jamaican restaurant thing. Are the chicken there? Someone said the chicken look. Guys, gonna look for the Jamaican style jerk chicken look. Ooh, look at jerk chicken spot. Look at Jamaican spot. Never bad guys. Never bad at all. Fried chicken, a little bit of the but the fries, the pepper sauce, the jerk chicken, everything fabulous. We're on our way to Cancun now. Cancun. I love them. I didn't say the hotel. I'll close the block when I get there, guys. Oh, Walmart Express. Okay. Yeah, you hear me talk about Walmart and you talk about up on a bus after we just checked the Uber over the people in place. You're really outrageous. We made it to Cancun, y'all. We made it. <laughs> okay, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this Chulum vlog. If you guys definitely have any questions, let me know in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer it for you guys. Airfare, transportation, places to go, people to see hot spots, whatever it is that you guys want to know, you can ask in the comments. We're in Shalom and the Cancun vlog starts now. So look out for it after this one. It's coming on this channel, right? Um, And yeah, check out all the content across all platforms, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Find us everywhere. Comment, leave a like, just support all the content because as much as we're having fun, we wanted to include you guys, okay? So, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, okay? Bye.